Hello everybody. I am coming on here because I am getting ready for a Christmas event that I'm hosting for my team. So I'm gonna show you how to do this one compact makeup and I'm gonna show you how to do the sugar and spice recreate the look that Saint has released. It is these gorgeous colors plus a couple others. I'm gonna be using all of these tonight on this face of mine. So if you have questions, put them in the comments. Otherwise, this is the Sugar and Spice collection. Um, and it also comes with, whoop, it comes with Photoshop, this really pretty, I dug my fingernail in there, but this really pretty um, illuminator and our lip conditioner, which is what my lips need. They are so, so dry. So I'm gonna show you how to do this whole look right from scratch. If you are have never used cream-based makeup before, this is all one compact makeup. You are matched to your skin tone. Either I can match you on an individual basis or you can just go right online to the website and match yourself to a collection. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So I'm just using my main highlight shade and I'm just placing it all into my uh, main area. So my jawline and my T-zone and I like to rub it all in. Now cream makeup is highly pigmented but super lightweight. So you saw that I had quite a bit of um, like, I've got like a little rash happening right around here. Um, so there's quite a bit of redness, but just a little bit of this goes a long way and really helps get rid of all that redness. Then I'm gonna go in under eye and today I'm gonna use this color called Frenchie. Now this is looking a little empty because I took my tins out of here so that I can show you them here. Oh yeah, you've got your makeup, amazing. Well, this is perfect timing, then you can watch it. So I'm using this color called Frenchie. It's a lip cheek color, and I'm just placing a little bit under eye as a color corrector. Um, if you've been following, you know it's been wild over here with all my kids getting hit with this crazy flu um, that just keeps going and going forever and ever. If you are moms out there, do you are your kids sick? And if so, does it just never end? It's like they wanna all of a sudden they'll have a better day. And I'm like, okay, we're on the upswing. And the next day they're all fevering again. It's like the weirdest, but all my neighbors whose kids are sick as well have said the exact same thing. So I know just one of those things that you gotta get rid of. Okay, so I've got my brightening highlight now. I'm gonna place it down my nose into my forehead. I like to use my finger for this and then I'll go back in and blend afterwards. And I always put just a little bit on either side of my nose because I do have quite a bit of shadowing there. Okay, then I'm gonna go back into my blush bronzer brush and I'm just gonna stipple this in under eye. And because I use that color corrector, this bright brightener is just gonna pop because that coral under that eye um, will have balanced out that skin tone um, and all the discoloration that was happening up there. So I'm just gonna go like this and then I'm stippling it on. So this is just pressing it into all those fine lines. Uh, cream makeup um, is always gonna move with your face throughout the day. So I like to stipple and not swipe. The reason being this allows it to just press in to all those fine lines and wrinkles so that as you move throughout the day or your face moves, I should say, um, all of those little lines are filled in with this product, which helps minimize the appearance of them. All right, blending it all in. See how I'm looking a lot more awake and alive. I put very light amount and then I layer rather than putting a ton of product on because you really don't need very much of this at all. But because I was quite dark under eye, I'm just doing really light layers under eye. And that way I'm not getting too much product on, but I am brightening it to the point that I want um, without just putting a ton of product that I didn't need. So um, you're asking Laurie how much I use. I'm literally tapping my brush in once. That's it. I don't swipe it. I'm just tapping it and then applying it. That's really that is the biggest mistake most people make when they're first learning how to use this. I know I certainly did that too. I was just using way too much product because I was used to a liquid, a liquid, which you do, do have to use a lot because um, of just the way that it's coverage. Here, less is more. So literally just tap in once, apply till there's none left on the brush and then tap in again. That's all you need. Um, you really don't need very much of this product at all. 
Okay, so I'm switching over to my smudge brush. I've been using this a lot lately for contouring because I find that it's so much simpler when you're just brand new to this to learning where the product goes. I think sometimes when you're using um, like a, a thicker or a wider brush, it's easier not to get the best um, placement because it's such a thick line. So you're not actually getting the placement where you want it to go. So I'm placing it underneath my jaw, chiseling it all out. I've got it right where my ear connects to my face down on an angle directly underneath my cheekbone on here. And then I'm going to put it on either side of my nose. And I love this brush for nose contouring as well because it is such a small little brush, it's so much easier to get a more detailed um, and precise application. On average, how long does it take for oily skin gals to produce less oil and get adjusted? Um, it takes, I would say you should give it, if you're just starting out with this product, I would give it two to three weeks of consistent use. Um, there is gonna be a little bit of an adjustment with your skin which is typical for most products when you're, when you're changing over to a new product. Um, but I think that because we live in such an instant gratification society, <laughs> you just want to put it on and it to be amazing and good to go. And often that is the way it is. Um, but sometimes your skin just does need a little bit of time to get used to a switch to a product. So that's why I love having that two to three, uh, give it two to three weeks. Um, and then we do have a, a 30 day money back guarantee that if for whatever reason, it just wasn't working for you. You have that 30 days to utilize. Okay, so I am going back in with a little bit bright of brightener. I always go back once I've done all my blending um, and just brighten any areas that need brightening. Um, if you feel like your contour, maybe you blended your contour too low, tap once into your highlight and you're gonna do this little Nike swoop and you're gonna just push that contour back up where it belongs, just like that. You don't even need to put more product on if you don't want to. You can just do a little Nike swoop, move it to where it belongs. Um, type of moisturizer, I either use um, Saints Cream, which I don't have here right now because it's in the bathroom, um, or I use The Ordinary, has a really good, um, well, this is the peptide serum, but I use their moisturizer as well. Um, the Ordinary, it's really cheap and it's very good stuff. Um, and my skin loves it. Do I have it here? Oh yeah, here it is. The natural moisturizing factors in HA from The Ordinary. Um, between Saints Cream, which is amazing, amazing, or this, go back and forth between the two, but that's what I use. Just make sure that it um, absorbs fully before applying um, your makeup. Okay, I'm gonna go into my bronzer. I've got two together because it fits this brush so perfectly swirling my brush in and then I'm just going to I like to squeeze my brush a little bit and I just place it in a parentheses on the high point of my forehead and on the high point of my cheekbone just like as if I was you know going out to the beach got sun kissed a little bit this is where I would get sun kissed first so think of those areas where you get sun kissed first and that's where you want to put your bronzer some ladies like to put a little on their nose um, and then I also bring it right into my neck. I mean, obviously, I don't normally get my neck super tight <laughs> um, until later, but I like to do this, especially in the winter, just to make sure everything blends really well. And then make sure you go back and blend it all out, just like this. Do they still have Ever Red Lip and Cheek? It was actually, um, Saints, um, they always do a shade of the month, and this month they released six of our shades of the month from the last year that were really popular. Ever Red was one of them. I do believe it's sold out in Canada though, but if you're in the States, go grab it before it's gone because it will sell out. It does every single year. Stock up um, because it's so, so freaking good. Okay, so I got my bronzer on, contour. I've got my um, main and bright inner on there. What am I doing next? Oh yeah, lip and cheek. So this is where I get to start using this sugar and spice collection. So Saint just released this as they recreate the look. Um, it has four colors in the eyeshadows. I'll get to that too. But in the um, lip and cheek colors, there's nude 
and Desert Sunset. These two are so pretty. I love them. And I often wear them when I'm wearing like a really subtle look. So I will, I'm um, just going to take this nude color here and that's what I'm going to place on my cheek. Will you post this video? Absolutely I will. So I'm placing this right on the outside corner of my apple of my cheek and up on a diagonal. That's going to give you a little instant facelift. So I like to place it right in there. And then I'll go back in and I'm just going to blend it. And I often blend the, I always bl blend the contour up and then I push the blush down because I want it to blend in with the contour and not too close to my eye and into that bronzer. So I'm just going to blend it like this. Isn't that such a pretty color? And this is nude. It's so pretty. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, okay, there's one other question here. If my main color is white peach, should I still use sunlit to color correct? Just for color correcting, you can absolutely, but I would not recommend that as your brightening highlight. Um, I would probably, if you're white peach, I would probably recommend um, linen or Versailles. I'm using Versailles under mine right now. Okay, now I'm going to show you. This is another part of the Sugar and Spice collection. Yours will come without my fingernail divot, so don't worry. Yours will be a lot prettier. But I, this is a powder illuminator called Photoshop. You can see it has um, quite a shimmer to it, and it is like a very pinky undertone. So I'm going to place that right on top of my cheekbone. Now, I want to show you a little trick that um, my good friend Amanda taught me. And she actually showed it in our holiday bash that we just had as a team this past week. There was like 7,000 people in it. But this is what she does. I'm going to show you. So this is the bomb that we have from our Demi collection. And this is on sale right now. What she does is she takes some of the bomb and she takes her, her powder illuminator, which goes on pretty shimmery. She mixes the two so it formulates this amazing amazing cream like kind of creaminess so i'm going to take the bomb mixing it around and then i'm going to press it right into the photoshop see and then i'm going to place this on the top of my cheekbone on top of that nude and look at how gorgeous that is so this is with out that bomb you still get like the shimmer but with isn't that gorgeous like for a holiday look I'm all over it I think it's so pretty so I'm gonna put the bomb on this side too I'm going out tonight for a wreath making workshop with some of my team members we're having a little Christmas party we're gonna have a glass of wine maybe a cup of coffee or tea some I made some yummy ginger ginger snaps well they're like chewy ginger snaps so I feel like all of the, all of the glow, all of the glow. Oh my word. Can we even right now? That's so pretty. Okay, there we go. Love it, love it, love it. Could the balm be like a lip balm? Uh-huh, absolutely. It could be like a lip conditioner. Um, I actually used it like that the other day. So this, um, you could actually probably, the only thing is, I will say that the lip conditioners do have some fragrance to them. Some of them do. Which one is this one? I can't remember. Oh, maybe this one is the non-fragrance, but we do have like cherry or peppermint. Probably wouldn't necessarily um, recommend putting that with, but you could just use the lip conditioner. I'm gonna use that on my lip. And this also comes in the same sugar and spice little thing. So it's these colors, the lip conditioner, which you could actually probably put with uh, this too. You wouldn't even need the balm. You could just use a lip conditioner. I'm sure you could do that. Why not? I mean, <laughs> it's the most versatile thing in the world. And then Photoshop. Okay. Oh my goodness. I just love this so much. I have to say, I've never tried this technique with Photoshop, but I am here for it. So pretty. Isn't that so pretty? Okay. Next up, I'm just amazing myself over here. <laughs> I'm going to go in and I'm going to do a quick eye look. Now, I often have people say, Rylan, why do you do your eyes last? Why don't you do them first? So then it like doesn't worry about all the fallout. And my answer to you is, 
There's no good reason. <laughs> That's just the way I do it. I'm not any, I'm not professional over here. I am self-taught and loving this makeup. And I am of the mind that if it makes you happy and you like the outcome afterwards, go for it. And so if it's not in the correct way, who cares? <laughs> That's what I'm at. Okay, so I'm going to start off with, these are the colors within the um, sugar and spice. I'm going to start with Claire. It's one of my favorites. It's kind of this like deep pink color. And I'm going to place that on my whole lid. Just like this such a pretty color. Then I'm going to go in on top of that. You know what? I'm actually going to use a little bit of that Photoshop in here too, because that's going to bring some major sparkle. What I love when Saint puts together these different looks, I love that um, there's so many different ways that you can use them. I mean, you could use all four colors together, or you could just, you know, do two at a time or wh however you like. So now I'm going to go in with pomegranate another favorite of mine and I'm gonna just use the small end of my eyeshadow brush and I'm just tapping it into the outer corner of my eye see I'm just let's go like this there we go I'm just pressing that right in and then flipping this brush around and then I'm gonna just do these small little rotations and bring it up into the crease and then as that kind of smudges out and becomes this more ombre look then that's when I add in more color if I feel like it needs more color. And don't worry about the fallout. Um, I've got a great little tip for that after. See, I'm just gonna add in more pomegranate. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is right. I don't go out very often. I feel like there's no need to. Maybe I'm like too old. <laughs> to go out in the evening I'm always like tired I'm like I'd rather stay at home and watch the crown um or Downton Abbey or something uh, okay blending that all out isn't this so pretty now don't worry about this we're gonna get we're gonna figure that out in a second and then I'm gonna just press this in here my my um how much is a sugar and spice palette the Sugar and Spice palette is 147 in Canada and oh gosh, I can't remember. I think it's like like just around 100 in the US. I don't remember the exact price. But you're getting a lot. You're getting a lot of colors because you're getting two lip and cheek colors, four eyeshadows, um uh that beautiful illuminator and the lip conditioner. I should have tried the lip conditioner instead of the balm. Oh my goodness. I just can't. Every time I look at it, it's just so pretty. Okay, there we go. So I've got that now to clean this up. You can use whatever brush you have, um, but I'm just going to turn over the smudge brush that I was using and just go in with a little bit of your brightener color. And I'm just going to go like this and we're just gonna clean up that line. There we go. You don't have to worry about any fallout. It's as easy peasy as that. Okay, now wait for this. Now I'm gonna go in with Photoshop again with my finger, just a little bit, and I'm just gonna place it right in the center of my eye. I didn't use the balm or anything. Just your finger is good enough. Isn't that so pretty? Okay. Every time I do my makeup recently, I'm like, okay, this is my new holiday look. And then I try something else. I'm like, this is my new holiday look. So now I just sound like I'm a liar because I say that about every look, but they're all so good. I hope the girls that are coming tonight are like wearing their makeup because ladies, <laughs> I'm going all out. Even if they're not, that's fine. Now, one last thing for this eyeshadow is this color here is called Philly. It's super pretty and a really nice like neutral brown. So I'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow brush, the small end, 
And I'm just placing a very little bit of that and I'm gonna go underneath my eye. And we're just gonna do a very light liner with this. And this is Philly right under eye. I always feel like just a little bit of eyeshadow blended out like that just really helps define your eye without making it look too small, like the 90s version of just wearing like a black eyeliner under, under eye, which tends to make your eye look a lot smaller. So if you have a, a darker eyeshadow and then you can kind of buff it out, um, it'll still give you that lined look without making your eyes look a ton smaller. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm just gonna clean up a little bit. Oh yeah, we're going for it. So the only color I didn't use in here is Moscow. Now Moscow is another one of my favorites and I use it a lot, but for this look, I just wanted to kind of stick with the pinks um, and then add that brown in at the end. All right. Now I'm going to go in and quick do my brow. I always use Brow Lux. It's so awesome. This is in the color taupe. Um, and I love it because it's so simple to use. If you're looking for it, just head to RaylynRimer.com, Click on its affiliates and the link is right there for you. Super easy, quick shipping. And they have all different colors as well. And I found actually that you can use multiple colors. Like this is the color that I often wear, well, I wear all the time in the winter. In the summer when I was so much more tanned, I found that I could use actually a different brow color um, just to make my brow pop a little bit more. And I've actually been using it even now, although I have to be careful with how much I fill it in because otherwise it just looks like I have a really dark brow. So let's just go like this. And this is so fun. With my kids being sick this week, I really have not done my makeup very much. I think I did it once this week just to make myself feel like I was human and it was just kind of like a quick little five minute throw some makeup on and go kind of thing. So this is so fun. I honestly just have so much fun doing this. It's like your own little creative palette every day. I actually had someone message me today and they were like, I just love makeup so much. Like it sounds weird, but every time I get up in the morning and I think of doing Saint, it just makes my heart like so happy. And I totally get it because I feel the exact same way. Okay, so there we go. The last thing that we need to do is my eyeshadow and my lips or my eye, my mascara and my lipstick. So I'm gonna actually layer these two colors. So we've got Nude and Desert Sunset. Both are very pretty on their own, but I'm gonna layer them tonight. And do I have my cloth to clean this off? Um, I did the other day. I must have taken it upstairs to watch it, wash it, which is a very good idea. Sometimes if you've been on here and you've watched me, you might be like, you need to, you need to wash your microfiber cloth. But it's, I always forget about it when I'm not sitting at my desk. And then when I sit down and start doing makeup, I'm like, oh shoot, this is the only one I have. So I'm actually just using my refresh wipes, which are really great for just taking makeup off your face, but they work good for cleaning off your, cleaning off your brushes too. All right, lip color, here we go. So I'm gonna go in with Nude. And I actually already have that lip conditioner on, which is gonna make this go on so nice and smoothly. Nude is such a pretty color on its own. I think often I think of holiday looks like with a bright red lip, kind of like what I've been wearing late, lately, but they absolutely don't have to be. So if you've been like, I want to have a really nice holiday look, but I don't want a bright red lip, go with something neutral like this. We're all melted and softened. I would ask how soft they are. If they're a little bit warm, it could just be that they were in like in the delivery truck. Maybe it was quite warm in there. So they just warmed up. So if you just put them in a cool place, they should stiffen up right away. Same if they get too hard. Like sometimes if you're in a cold air climate or they're in um, like a lot of air conditioning and they stiffen up, I just give them a quick blast of the hair dryer to warm them up and then that will make them more buttery soft. 
but if they're like goopy which they shouldn't be I mean like this is see how like this one is very soft but that's normal but if it's like dripping out of your tin that's a problem so just um if I'm your artist message me if someone else is your artist message them and they can help you okay so I'm just gonna add a little bit of desert sunset on top it's just gonna add a little bit of gloss and bring this to less of a purple undertone. Isn't that such a pretty color? So good. Yes, bubbles are normal. That is just from the amount of pouring it into the tin and it's setting. Totally fine. That's the way it's supposed to come. Okay, I am going to go. Actually, I have some Demi here which the colors I haven't used. There we see, right there. Can you even see it? It's got bubbles all over it. That's normal, no worries. Okay, gonna do a quick little mascara and then we are good to go. So I'm just using the Voluminous Primer to prime these lashes and help give them some volume and length. If you have never used Saint before, what are you even doing? Um, if you would like to be color matched, just reply or just DM me um, because these comments are going to go away once I upload this. You can either comment on when I upload this um, to video or just give me a quick DM and I can help color match you or let you know what level you are. So if you're thinking this is a lot and I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed, what I can do is just match you to a pre-built collection. Um, Saint just released their new pre-built collections and they are fabulous. Um, they really truly do work with every skin tone. It's just a matter of knowing what level you are. So that's something that I can help you with if you are feeling nervous to do that yourself. Otherwise, you can just go online to my website um, and you can just match yourself to a skin tone that most resembles you and then you just choose what size collection you want. So you could have um, a collection four, which comes in, a, in something like this. It's just four colors, one, two, three, four, um, eight or 12, um, and they're awesome. And lots of ladies start their new Saint routines with those collections um, over Black Friday in this past weekend, which is super exciting. I am using, because um, I know somebody's gonna ask, the Lancome Lash Idol. I need to refill it so it's not going on as smoothly as it normally does, but this is my absolute favorite mascara. It's so, so good. Just looks so pretty. The other thing I want to remind you of is to set your makeup. So I'm gonna do that after this. Um, there's two ways that you can do it. You can use either a powder or a setting spray. Um, if you are very oily or live in a very humid climate, I do recommend using a powder um, and that's going to help absorb some of that extra moisture. Um, otherwise, if you have really dry or combination skin, the setting spray should work well for you or you could use the, you could use the powder as well. I feel like I should have like music on in the background, but the last time I did that, um, I think it was actually on Facebook when I did that. The last time I did that, Facebook blocked my, the sound for my whole video, which was like an hour long because I was doing a teen thing because I used 30 seconds. I was listening to music before my event started and then I turned it off once I started talking and they blocked my entire video because I used 30 seconds of somebody's music. So now I don't dare listen to other people's music. Oh, it always takes me about twice as long to do my mascara as it does everything else, but I like it to be nice and black. So there we go. I am all ready for tonight's event. Feeling all fresh. I'm going to use um, a little bit of my setting spray. So I've got my Perfector sponge here. I'm spraying it directly. Don't spray your face directly because this is not a fine mist. I'm just going to spray this like that. Perfect timing. I have a little friend who came in here. Hello. And I'm just gonna press this all over. Now, what this Perfector sponge is so good for, especially if you're brand new, is picking up excess product. So if you're like, I don't know if I have too much, this is gonna take 
excess, it's going to set your makeup and also take off excess product so you're not wearing too much. There we go. Do, do, do. I sure am in Canada. It is wonderful here. Isn't it wonderful here? <coughs> oh, dear. <coughs> Those colds. All right. There we go. So there's my holiday look, my, um, my highlight and contour together with the sugar and spice collection. If you're just joining in, it's these colors, um, with the Photoshop illuminator, as well as the lip conditioner, which I placed on my lips as well. The only thing that I added on was the balm, um, to that Photoshop, you but you could absolutely adorable? use your lip conditioner for that as well. Pardon? Can you put on a adorable? A bom abominable? Yeah. We can probably watch that in a second. Okay. Oh, wonderful. I used to live in Toronto. That's amazing. It's I love it there. It's a second. Do you want to say something before we go? I want to watch Abominable. He wants to watch Abominable. Okay. Well, have a great rest of your night. If you need anything, make sure that you just message me. I want to say something. Okay, say one more thing quick. My mom is beautiful. Oh. Thanks, buddy. I didn't even tell him to see that. Thank you. I love you very much. I love you too, Mom. All right. Have a great rest of your weekend. Um, you know where to reach me if you have any questions, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.